man for whom I am great, very grateful that he made a movie about a hot sauce called Sriracha for personal reasons, but also because it gave us an awesome food on film party this year. Uh, Griffith Thank made you. a video that uh, introduces him way better than I could, so I'm going to let him play it. Thank yeah. And I figured instead of either of us talking too much at the beginning, I would just show you a video. By now, all of you here have experienced this. You know what it looks like to walk around the Atlanta Film Festival. But to share this cool experience with our viewers at home, I've strapped a GoPro camera onto my back. In fact, it is rolling right now. So everyone say hi, wave. <laughs> I am no skydiver, so the coolest thing I can capture with my DIY over-the-shoulder cam is film festivals, concerts, muddy obstacle courses. And because I share lots of behind-the-scenes videos online, a few of you here know me from the internet. I'm glad you came up and said hello, because now I know at least five of you in this audience know who I am. Six, if we count my wife Amy. For the rest of you, here is a quick rundown. My video career started when I was six years old with the production of Ghostbusters 3. Right here. Put that on my cut. Cut. I've since made thousands of videos, all different kinds of things. But definitely lots of cat videos, wedding videos, even turned myself into a rapping Mitt Romney. I studied film at New York University, earned a master's in communication from Illinois State University, and for three years I produced video for State Farm. The highlight of that job was directing William Shatner. I wrote, directed, and edited this short film about the danger of turkey fryer fires. It's a ridiculous video, but it effectively cut Thanksgiving Day cooking fires by 66%. After that, I took a job at YouTube, producing low-budget filmmaking tutorial videos for a YouTube-owned channel called Indie Mogul. Indie Mogul. That was amazing, because I gained an incredible audience of YouTube subscribers, and by forcing me to try something new every week, I learned a lot, and became much more comfortable in front of the camera. Hey, Andy Mogulers, Griffin here. Lots of DIY projects, like a homemade teleprompter, a powerful but inexpensive light that I still use on my freelance videos, a portable recording studio, a projector screen, in two years, my production partner Russell Hasenauer and I produced 468 videos for our audience of aspiring filmmakers. But I also aspired to be called a filmmaker. I'd been calling myself a professional videographer. And because all of my videos were designed for the internet, I never really felt comfortable calling them films or calling myself a filmmaker. So last year, I attended the South by Southwest Film Festival in Austin, Texas and returned home with the inspiration to finally create something intended for the big screen that I could take to film festivals. I immediately began production of Sriracha, a 33-minute documentary that reveals the origin story of this popular hot sauce. And here we are now. I'm in Atlanta, having screened my film for an incredibly welcoming audience. And because of you, I finally feel comfortable calling myself a filmmaker. Thank you so much. And even though the Indie Mogul YouTube channel was retired in December, no! I still feel a duty to learn and share what I learn with my indie filmmaker friends online. So that's what I do, I guess. <laughs>